will have a short tutorial on how to launch your Android apps through your launch box. But through your launch box, it's not like launching directly on launch box because we all know that it is front end. Um, so recently I've been setting up my GPD Win 3. So there are a lot, there is a lot of videos about GPD Win 3 on my channel if you have noticed. And um, I've just finished setting up uh, all the other um, emulators. So I was like, oh, I should set up my Android apps as well. And I've been looking into how to set it up. So um, by the time that I have posted this video, um, I've probably uploaded another video um, on the showcase of uh, how to launch the launch box directly from the startup of uh, turning my GPD Win 3. So um, this is my second video about launch box and GPD Win 3. So if you have missed the first one, uh, you can go to the link in the description box below and see uh, what I have been showing you guys. Um, so let's move back to our main topic. Um, you can see there is a Monster Hunter Stories app here. And if I click on it, it will launch directly um, with BlueStacks 4. So um, I have been um, hindering about uh, using BlueStacks 4 or 5, but my conclusion is BlueStacks 4 because uh, we can map the keys to the screen. However, on BlueStacks 5, uh, we cannot map the keys. So it is such a waste because we have all those game gamepad keys on our GPD Win 3, but if it cannot be matched, then I don't think it is a good choice. Of course, there are apps that cannot be installed with Bluetooth, uh, BlueStacks 4, but most of the apps can be installed. So, um, of course, our first step will be installing BlueStacks 4 and getting our APK files and installs them and install them. But um, I assume you have done that already. So uh, here are some shortcuts from the apps I've already installed. So after installing these apps, you'll have these shortcuts and just don't delete them. We need them to help us launch uh, them directly through the launch box. So first of all, um, you can put them to a location you like. Uh, of course, you can leave them on your desktop, but I don't like to do so. So um, I will have a folder for these apps well basically i put them into my local disk d you just move all of them here and you can delete the thing uh, the shortcuts on your desktop now and then you want to drop them to your launch box and then when you drag and drop it, you have this screen and click none of the above. And yes. And then use them in their current location. Next, next, next. And then we can wait for it to be imported. So they have been imported successfully. Uh, so you can see they are downloading the 
front or a box ads box arts for the, those apps so we can click OK first and we can wait till that see uh, there are logos of these apps download it let's click on one of them let's see it works so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you found it useful so um, if you want to import the uh, icon of it, you can just uh, click edit and then go to images. You can add um, images here. If you don't have any image, you can simply go to your browser and then search for the name of that app and simply add that image for example this is not the right one but you can click on it and add it and then click ok then you'll be able to add a new image so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching i hope it i hope it is helpful to you and there will be more tutorials on launchbox as well as gpd win3 so if you're interested in these kind of topics please subscribe and i will always upload a new video onto my channel bye